This video was brought to you by the Critical Language Service. To learn more about our Arabic courses taught via video conference and telepresence for high schools, homeschool groups, and other academic groups, visit our website at www.criticallanguageservice.com. Now we're going to talk about ordinal numbers. الأعداد الترتيبية بالعربية. First of all, ordinal numbers means the numbers that you use to put things in ranks, in order. Like in English, you have the first, the second, seventh, fourth. I always came in fourth, first in my class, etc. That's very true. Obviously, while studying Arabic, you have learned that the cardinal numbers, numbers are the counting numbers. Like numbers from 1 to 100, for example. Min wahid ila mi'a. And Arabic also has ordinal numbers, that's what I was talking about, that are easily derived from the car cardinal numbers via wazn and jether system. Simply put, al jether of the cardinal number into wazn fa'il, fa'ila, fil mu'annath, and this combination produces the ordinal numbers from second to tenth. Easy. And now let's look at how we do that. The fourth in Arabic. May the fourth be with you. The fourth is Al Raba. Now let's see how we got that from the cardinal numbers. As you know, the cardinal number for four is Arba or Arba in Arabic. So can you guess the jither? So just by looking at it, you can see that the root is ra ba ain. That's ain people. And the pattern is al fa. I know we went backwards into this, but just to show you how easy it is, or. If it's feminine now if we highlight the generic place holding letters fa ain lam you can see that it was the root rabain ra that make arba into arraba the fourth we're going to be in order for the next examples I just wanted to show you how the root and the pattern can help you find the ordinal number from the cardinal number. The fifth in Arabic, just like English, English means that something is number خمسة, number five in an order here you have the masculine and with tamar buta the feminine now if we apply the pattern al fa'il and apply the root kha mim sin Replace it with fa, ain, lam. We get al khamis. Hopefully, you don't have to go through all this to get the ordinal number. But this is the these are the steps. You find the ordinal number, the cardinal number. You apply the pattern al fa'il to the root. And voila, you get the 
ordinal number الخامس. Same thing for the third. Third meaning something is in number is number three. Like so, it's ثلاث for masculine nouns, or you add ثلاثة. And you apply the root, uh, sorry, the pattern, الفاعل. I know. I speak Arabic, and sometimes I get confused. الفاعل, so take it easy. الفاعل, and we have the root. ثا. لام. ثا. Okay, got it by now. فا. عين لام. It's where you need to replace them. So, we got. You put L from the pattern. Tha. Tha. Lam. So you have the Ain. Put the Lam instead of it. And the last letter is ثاء instead of لا لا ثالث هيفلا you get the you only place the root root letters in the pattern and this is the pattern of obviously الفاعل الثالث and you get the ordinal number from the cardinal number. Now, more on العدد الترتيبية. <laughs> okay, so let's look at let's look at the cardinal numbers and all ordinal numbers. So, in this chart, you have the uh, cardinal numbers, like the numbers you count with one, two, three, four, five, and then you have its ordinal numbers in mudakkar, masculine, and muannith. Okay, so واحد الأول الأولى so when you say واحد is number one but الأول is the first and الأولى is the first when you are talking about a feminine noun اثنان اثنين two الثاني الثانية the second ثلاثة three الثالث الثالثة the third أربعة four الرابع the fourth الرابع خمسة five الخامس الخامسة the fifth ستة six السادس السادسة the sixth سبعة seven السابع السابعة the seventh and ثمانية or ثماني eight الثامن الثامنة the eighth like the eighth friend that I have is blonde okay moving on from the weird example we have tisa nine al tasa al tasia the ninth asher ashra ten al asher al ashra a had asher eleven al hadi asher al hadi at asher the eleventh if na asher twelve al thani asher a thani at asher the twelfth ثلاثة عشر thirteen الثالثة عشر الثالثة عشرة yep the thirteenth note that formal Arabic has special rules about using the masculine and feminine forms of cardinal numbers one to ten and the rule goes that the uh, numbers have to agree with the noun the gender of the noun for example uh, بنت واحدة ثلاثة بنات so you see the we use ثلاثة instead of ثلاث because bent is a feminine noun and if you ever have to talk about this cutesy you would say دب واحد دبان ثلاثة دباب etc just as English one and first do not resemble each other obviously we said واحد والأول the Arabic word for first is derived from a different jither than of wahid and therefore the two words isn't don't sorry resemble each other 
واحد number one الأول the first الأولى the first four feminine nouns Finally, note that the jether of six is really seen dal seen and not seen ta ta, which is a later development of the counting number six. Sita six al sadis, the sixth al sadisa, the sixth for feminine nouns.